Hi there, Erica Cooley, Head of Community at Aloft, here today to walk you through how to apply for a further coordination with Lance authorization using the Aloft Air Control mobile app on iOS or Android. There is a previous video that dives into um, what further coordination requests are used for in a little more depth. I'll um, go over it briefly here, but if you'd like to check out that video, um, it covers that topic as well as how to apply for a further coordination request uh, Lance authorization on the Air Control web dashboard. So if you check the description of this video, you can watch that video here on our YouTube channel. But let's dive right in to how you would apply for a further coordination request on the Air Control mobile app. So first, you're going to open up the Air Control application on your mobile device on iOS or Android. And then you use the search um, icon, so that little magnifying glass, you can search a specific address or a general location and um, your pin will drop there. So we'll search the Las Vegas area and our pin automatically drops here in a zero foot grid uh, for Las Vegas. As you can see, if we zoom out a little bit, you can see all the different grids that um, are the different ceiling heights. Uh, the one our pin is dropped in right now is an auto approval available up to zero feet but further coordination available up to 400 feet. So that would be um, what we're applying for today. So let's say we have an operation that needs to take place here at the Golden Nugget Las Vegas Hotel. Um, if we drop our pin and click the Lance button, it'll automatically drop a polygon on that position. And let's say we need to operate up to 300 feet. So we can start to draw in our polygon shape just to fully encompass that uh, Golden Nugget Hotel so let's say we're you know doing some sort of inspection there and we need to be able to operate a drone to use um, to use for our mission we would use the further coordination request option here so once we have our uh, intended airspace uh, fully selected on the mobile app and you're using those little pin icons in the corner you just hold and click um, and you can move those to fully encase that then we can click the next button and and now we'll select our um, our time and date that we would like to operate in. So let's say we need to fly next Tuesday, November 22nd, and we need to um, operate at 12 noon. And we'll say that the duration of our mission will be about an hour. So we'll select the one hour and we'll click OK. Um, here are just some Lance notes. These are um, more general Lance information. So we'll click Next. And now you'll see that you'll get that eligible for further coordination. It's a yellow bo box um, or polygon surrounding your area, gives the duration time and the location. Um, here there is a little bit of information that it can take up to 90 days to process a further coordination request, though the FAA targets under 30. Um, so as far as advanced as you can plan this is best. So now we moved over to the next page, which just gives our personal information. And now this is where we can enter our safety justification. So this is a 2000 character um, box that allows you to submit written information about how you're going to operate safely in the uh, in the national airspace system in that specific location that has a zero foot ceiling grid. So here you can write um, things like, I'll use a visual observer to scan the area during my drone operation uh, for any potential obstacles. Um, it may be writing in that you will uh, scout your takeoff and landing location prior to your operations to look out for any um, obstacles, you know, that might come in the way uh, for your operation. So writing here as much as um, information as you can will be a benefit because this information goes directly to air traffic control who is the governing body that um, views these further coordination requests and then therefore either approves or rejects them. So once you feel uh, that you have the right amount of information added in for your ju safety justification, you can 
click the agree and submit button and this will submit your Lance authorization, your further coordination Lance authorization requests into air traffic control, the ATC of the uh, controlled airspace that you're applying for. So now we'll see, we do have a blue box here um, and it does show the Lance information, um, but when we got our text message, it'll show that information. This is a manual, manual review pending FAA review. Um, and again, stating that it could take up to 90 days, but that their goal is to uh, process them in under 30 days. So now it has been a little bit of time and we have received approval for our further coordination Lance authorization request that we submitted on our mobile device. You'll see here that our uh, Lance authorization is now approved. And then if we look on the web dashboard, um, we can see that now the status says approved and all of the information on the timeline pertaining to that Lance authorization being processed. This authorization received a further coordination review pretty quickly from uh, the ATC at um, Las Vegas Airport, which is great, uh, but sometimes that isn't the case. So I would recommend as far in advance as you can for applying for these further coordination requests um, is a best practice. As stated earlier in the video, um, the FAA says it can take up to 90 days, but they're shooting for under 30. Uh, so this one, you know, we applied about, um, about a week in advance and we were able to receive authorization which is great. Uh, there are many airports around the country that have really great response rate using for their coordination, but there are also some um, that have low or 0% uh, response rate. Uh, if you're interested in learning more about that, we recently released a case study uh, diving into some of the airports that have a 0% response rate for further coordination requests uh, in the Lance system. So you'd like to uh, learn more about that, you can uh, check out that blog, which is linked in the description of this video. Also important to note, the FAA requires Aloft and all other UAS service suppliers to cancel um, unresponded to further coordination requests within 24 hours of the intended start time. If you do receive a notification via email, text message, or on the web dashboard of air control that your further coordination request has been canceled, that is due to the ATC at the designated airport not responding in time to approve or disapprove your further coordination request. So therefore, within 24 hours of your intended start time, your authorization request has been canceled. Also to mention, um, when you're operating with this further coordination request, uh, Lance authorization, always make sure that you're following those uh, safety justification procedures that you outlined. Um, so making note of any of those actions that you need to take to fly in compliance with this uh, Lance authorization that you received. So with that, uh, that concludes our tutorial of how, of how to apply for a further coordination request lands authorization on the Aloft Air Control mobile app. If you would like to uh, view a tutorial, as I said at the beginning of the video, on how to apply for a further coordination request on the Aloft Air Control web dashboard, uh, you can check out the link in the description of this video to watch that tutorial. And and if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out uh, here at Aloft. We're always happy to um, provide any support that we can. So uh, please reach out at support at aloft.ai. And as always, fly safe and fly often.